This is On Topic with Julie On. Today is December 7, 2016, and today's segment is called Trump and Trump. From the beginning of his campaign, Donald Trump supporters have been very ardent, and since Donald Trump has been elected the majority of the population, in his own opinion, are lucky that he's going to be president instead of crooked Hillary. Now let's introduce a professional Trump Trumper to talk about the several events that have occurred after the election. Hi Julie, thank you so much for inviting me on your show. Of course, now let's get on point. What has been happening this past month for this non-orange, misogynistic, white supremacist man-child? Well, there have been so many incidents lately, and some include... Government becoming overrun by conservative Republicans, California wanting to secede from the nation, Trump missing intelligence briefers, protests, hate crimes, a person destroying Trump's Hollywood Walk of Fame star, Trump starting a feud with the cast of Broadway's number one hit musical, Hamilton, Trump appointing inappropriate administration members, including Chief Strategist and Senior Counsel Stephen K. Bannon, a fellow white supremacist and super corrupt conservative, Administer of the Environmental Protection Agency Scott Pruitt, a non-believer of climate change, National Secretary Advisor Michael T. Flynn, a believer of conspiracies, and Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Ben Carson, an incoherent man in politics. Trump has also been flip-flopping on his campaign promises, such as his wall becoming a fence, locking up the nasty woman Hillary Clinton, repealing and replacing Obamacare, banning all Muslims from entering the U.S., supporting all illegal immigrants, denouncing climate change as a hoax, approving torture, and repealing the same-sex marriage legislation. And these are just a few things to mention. Canada home of lush forests, maple syrup, hockey, that weird poutine dish the Quebec white, and a smoking hot prime minister. After the recent US election, many Americans have thought about moving to Canada. And to that we Canadians say, no. You voted him in. You deal with him. A message by the Canadian Immigration Service. Canada. We're nice, but not that nice. Now for our next segment, Tweet Tweet. By now, we've all seen the ridiculousness of Trump's rampages through Twitter. Honestly, are we even surprised now? I mean, Trump just can't get enough of contradicting himself. Last weekend, Donald Trump got caught up in drama, causing a Twitter firestorm once again. His tweet, Boeing is building a brand new 747 Air Force One for future presidents, but costs are out of control, more than $4 billion, cancel order. Yet during the campaign, Trump spent $7.7 .7 million on his own family companies. The irony! Let's take it over to professional Trump Trumpers Crystal Laitanu and Danielle Lee. So Trump believes that spending $4 billion on a new 747 Air Force One is outrageous. This is an airplane that is way more than what you would think of as a commercial airliner. But it really is, in many ways, a flying White House. Ironically, he kept insisting on building a border that would cost $4 billion to construct, then $7 billion, then $10 billion, and now it's up to $12 billion when in reality experts have estimated the 35 to 55 foot wall to cost $25 billion. And after seven years, it would exceed that number to maintain it. Oh, and by the way, here's a hilarious video of Donald Trump trying to convince us to build it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. Do you want to build a wall? Let's make a plan today. Don't want to see them. We'll have a door, but lock it every day. It will cost a lot of money, but that's fine. We'll get Mexico to pay. Do you 
you want to build a wall? I'm not going to pay for that. Wait a minute. Wait. If you wait, get... wait, wait. But it's fine. But that's not all. He spent $423,000 at Cali Fane to manufacture the iconic bright red Make America Great Again hats Trump and his supporters wear. That's almost half a million dollars spent on just hats. And on top of that, Donald actually spent a hundred million dollars on his Boeing 757. It's funny to see how his supporters use this opportunity to trash an American company and don't realize what kind of person they voted for. I'm Amanda Miller and I'm standing inside Mr. Trump's luxurious new 757. I'm here to give you an inside look into traveling Trump style. You'll notice the seat belts, as well as everything else, are 24 karat gold plated. Oh yeah, we should definitely not spend money on a president's pilot and go out to get seatbelts plated with 24 karat gold. And the last draw, he spent $20,000 on his own portrait. It was found that Trump used money from his own charity to purchase a painting of himself that doesn't even look that great. Like, really? How much more conceited can a person get? Today we have invited two more special guests that will join us. Please welcome fervent Trump supporter Daphne from Tax Texas and Hillary supporter Hannah from California. Seeing that the election just passed and Donald Trump is now president-elect Trump, how do you feel? Oh, just delightful, y'all. I know he'll do huge <laughs> things for this country. At least we have a president that's born here, not gay, and has a woman for a wife. I can't believe that Donald is in office. I'm appalled at what our nation is becoming. How did this misogynistic, racist, sexist, crooked orange become the leader of our free country? At night, I can't even sleep because who knows when Donald is going to kill all the transgendered, gay, lesbian, half-black, half-Hispanic illegal immigrants. Um, excuse you, Hannah, that is just wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, both of you, it's getting heated in here. Please, someone call 911. First, will both of you please elaborate your opinion on how the country will change with Trump in office? You know, I would love to elaborate, but this is top secret, y'all. I can only say a few details. But I guarantee you he will de decrease crime rates, help us fight against NCIS. You mean ISIS? Yeah, 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 yeah. IS, IS. Anyway, that devilish Hillary, that evil woman, that Hillary, will be in jail. Best of all, y'all, President Donald Trump is going to build a fantastic wall and Mexico is going to pay for the whole darn thing. Oh, bless his huge God-given art. My chickens are going to be extra protected. You know, my chickens are so great. They provide two eggs for me every week for me and my family. I have three chickens. The first one is named Martha after my grandmother. Daphne, please, let's stay on topic. Let's give the floor to Hannah. What are your opinions? Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have to move to Canada. Canada? Isn't it really cold up there? America's doomed. We're so divided now. Even more divided than my favorite meme. That concludes today's segment for On Topic. Now, are you guys feeling alright? No, you're feeling all left. See you next time and remember to stay on topic.